Welcome to week five in the 7 through 12 Diverse Learner. This week we are going to review the information that we need to develop from task one, which is knowledge of the students and the learning environment. We're going to be using our class and then on Thursday we will begin our Danielson presentations with the first day preppers. I'm going to take you through the checklist and show you what I would like for you to do for Tuesday. In the Danielson Framework group teaching assignment checklist, which I keep adding information in there, at the very bottom, you'll see that there are task one examples that are from the educational testing service. One of the issues is there is not an example for history or art or industrial technology. However, I know that you're creative and can adapt and can pick one of the other samples that are here and use it. Once you open this document, and please feel free to print these off and put them in a notebook, in most of these examples, there are two different samples to view. One, the first one, of course, that met or exceeded the standard, and then a second one that did not meet. And what I suggest that you do with these is print them off and then grab your highlighter and see where you can find the information that is asked for. And you'll see there's six text boxes here, but they all involve information that is relevant to what you will, what you need for your own classroom, such as how you're going to communicate with students and families, what are your rules and procedures, here's the examples of the student interest inventory, and then where do you find the available resources that you can use to enhance student learning, information about the classroom demographics, information about community, district, and school factors that influence instruction. So these are all examples for a high school classroom. What we will be doing in our class is we will be developing this document. We'll come up with the information about our classroom because once you have that paragraph about your classroom and its environment, you'll be using that in task two task three and task four later on. What we will be completing in class on Tuesday are the contextual factors chart and the instructional and support resources chart that you will be submitting when you complete your internship. Thank you for signing up for a peer review group for your narrative paper about Mr. Morford's visit. My goal is to help you become peer reviewers and supports for each other so that it's not did the work, I'm just going to submit it, but rather I did the work, I want someone else to look it over first and then I'll submit it. I'm working on a project right now myself with another professor and that's our goal tomorrow is we're going to or share our items with each other so that we can proofread. It's just a great practice to begin if you haven't been working with that. On Thursday, on Thursday, the first day preppers are going to facilitate our learning about Domain one, which is planning and preparation. The first day preppers consist of Trevor, Brady, Besco, McKenna, Jerome, Stephanie, Emma, and Shay. What I'm going to ask you to do on Thursday, besides learning from the first day preppers, is to complete this peer review form about the lesson facilitation. All you'll have to do is enter your information in. I'm going to ask you to go and access the spreadsheet so that you can copy your information and put it in your own spreadsheet. Whether you use a Google Sheet or Excel, it doesn't matter. 
but the main thing is you are going to keep track of your peer reviews. You are earning two points for each peer review. Please make certain that you take care of these as soon as possible. You have 48 hours to complete your peer reviews. For this week's presentation, it, you'll have Thursday and Friday. What I do want you to do is make certain that you are responsible for copying and pasting your information into your own document that you'll share with me at the very end to show the feedback that you provided our learning community. There's two points available for each peer review that you complete. If you have any questions, and I hope that you do, please post them to our Ask a Question area. Thanks for listening, and let's have a great week.